Hello, puppy. <laughs> Why not? It's 6 30. And it's now time, time for quarantine coping. Quarant number 19. Quarantine 19. coping. This is number 19. 19 days in a row we've done this. Yay. 19 days. It's crazy. There's Tana Spore. She's coming. Did I scare you? Yes. Wow. So I guess Lisa felt we were getting a little philosophical. I was getting a little philosophical. I, you know, I just try to help people. But today we're not going to have any philosophical. We're just going to have fun. And yeah. we're going to show you how to uh, put, par put, what are we doing? <laughs> Plant potatoes in a barrel. This is the first time we've done this. This is totally yeah, so, an experiment for us. Although I've seen lots of people do it online, so I believe it works. Hello, Mrs. Kim Holt. We shall Wilcox. see. So, this will be less than yesterday our other. Yeah, yesterday's <laughs> was, we were, we were giddy. <sighs> and no, we were not drinking. Um, but we should have been. So, hey, Trandon. Whoa, hey, <laughs> long time no see. You're um right. So what do you want want to go and just yeah all right let's just do it let's jump right in folks we have we, our helpers yep, as usual we have one helper luna there's john healy and romeo is our another helper yes he's whining all right so we actually be protect, productive with the shovel today <laughs> oh yeah it's not just for looks i like it hey ryan ryan smith hey ryan so yeah we're, we got these 55 gallon um, barrels that we cut in half. They they have um, lids that don't come off, so bolt, they all have bottoms in them. Um, and we are just going to plant potatoes in, uh, like I said, we haven't done this before, but we're gonna give it a shot because it sounds really cool. And it's gonna be awesome. And so I've already done this one, I've already started this one. So basically what we're doing is we're gonna plant them in layers and we're only gonna do one layer today because we gotta let the first layer start growing. And then, as you you might know, you hill up potatoes as they grow, grow, so they keep producing more roots. If you leave them uncovered, then the potatoes can get sunburned and they won't keep growing. So, in order to make that easier, instead of going out in our field and having to hill up the potatoes, we're just going to pour more dirt on top of them. Yay! So they start growing. Sorry, Ryan's having his kids watch. Oh, cool! Homeschool. Homeschool. This is homeschool. Now, I want you to notice, it's all on just one pallet. So it this. This room. won't take up much room, and one potato. Yeah, one potato seed. One potato so, seed, which is really a, a potato. So you can see that the eye is starting to sprout. It's budding. It's budding. If there was another one or another one, we would actually cut those in half so that there was one eye, or we'd cut them however many times, but. We could probably cut it there, but These we're not. These particular ones mostly just have one bud on them, so we're yeah. just going to use them whole. Um, you plant it with the bud pointing up. That's what the plant grows out of. And then each seed that you plant, this is considered a seed, is going to produce four to five pounds of potatoes. Four to five pounds. So we, we're going to put, what, five in here? We're going to put five in the first layer. And then, like I said, as the next layer comes up, as the plants grow up, we're going to plant another layer around. Another there. five? Yeah. How many layers are we going to go? Uh, we'll see how it goes. I don't know. Maybe. Th three. So if we do three, that's 15. 15. Any but math. 15 <laughs> times five. five is 30 times three, which is 60 times. Okay, what? 90. It's, it's okay. So each yeah, barrel that's why I'm farming, I don't roughly is going to provide 90 pounds of, of potatoes. 90 pounds. Yeah, we're just going to tip them and get the potatoes. Can you do this with any potatoes? Sweet potatoes? Yeah, so any kind of potatoes you want. potatoes I have here are from Territorial Seed, um, which is an organic. Can I see that? Elba's, which is a white potato. Um, but I want to do some red potatoes, and I do have sweet potatoes ordered. They're just not here yet, so when they get here, we'll do those um, as well. Deanna, she's wanted to do this, so oh, yeah. get on it, girl. We'll see how it turns out. Like I said, we haven't done it before. But now, I, we have some holes we drilled because, yeah, and, we, and the reason we have them raised up is to ensure, you know, there's ample drainage. Now, we do it in the ground, and there's no holes in the ground, but the ground serves as plenty of uh, 
endless drainage. I don't know if I've ever said endless drainage together in a sentence. I sure shouldn't ever again. So we have here just some um, growing mix. This is a professional growing mix. Grow. Professional growing mix. You, you can, can use this for starting seedlings and all kinds of stuff, but I never use it just by itself. No. Um, I mix it. So I'm going to do a couple of scoops of that. You said a couple. That's three. That's three. Now here. And then compost. Here, here I'm going to let you film this. Or something. <laughs> so I want you to look, take note of this compost. Oh, hold on. Oh, here. <laughs> flip it Turn around. it around. Woo, woo. There we go. Okay. So you can see that's like sand, which is not good for me because I'll do designs and everything. <laughs> But this is absolutely 100% pure compost. There's no dirt in this. Yeah. And basically... And it's I'm, organic. Basically, I'm playing in a big pile of cow dung, <laughs> which it is. But if you want your stuff to grow, organic compost. It feeds your soil. The only way to go. We and, put compost in our whole garden. Oh, it's just... And no, it doesn't smell. It just feels like... They call it black gold. It is black gold. <laughs> and for what they, for what they charge, it, 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 it no, should it's be. actually not too bad. Oh, you want me to? Yeah, you <laughs> Look do at this. how this worked out. Okay, ready? And one. Dose. What do you want, three? Yeah, do three and then mix it up a little. There's a science to mixing. You start on the... No, I'm kidding. There's not a science. I like to get my hands dirty. like it all right that looks beautimous black gold deanna said yep <laughs> it is black I'm gold i'm gonna throw a little scoop of this in here this is actually the magic, yeah, do, magic. do we want to share the magic this is a fertilizer mix and it's not chemical in any way it's totally organic process um type of stuff but yeah this is just a combination of green sand feather meal and Green sand, what? Feather mill, and what else? And soft rock plastic. So I've never seen those on the shelf. Like, no, where do you get those? You pretty much have to order them. Um, you might be able to get some of that at some of the gardening places. But this but stuff here? It's it's an organic type of fertilizer, and we just put a little scoop in there. Mix it in with everything else to get it going. And I probably won't have to fertilize again. And, and I, Rama, and Heather, enough. Marisol, Cindy... Megan, if I missed anybody, sorry. Yeah, but that, that stuff is so good. There we go. All right, let's take a vote. My mixing or Lisa's mixing? <laughs> yes, I agree. Lisa's mixing. Okay. Right, the seeds, I eat potatoes okay so i'm gonna do these i'm gonna do five in this layer okay i'm just gonna stick them down in here with the little bud pointing up the bud pointing up that's kind of important yeah. space them out one two three four and one in the middle You're not burying these very deep. No, they don't need to be super deep. And there you have it. And that's it. We've already done this one. Yep. And we have a couple more to do. But but that's pretty much it. Now, explain a little bit after you start seeing some... So the plants will start growing. And once their leaves get up a little ways... Like that far? A few inches? Okay. Yeah probably four inches maybe then i will take another five or maybe only four we'll see seeds and put them at that level and then bury that all up so then the dirt will come up to the level of the leaves so if there's this much you know stock on the leaves or on the plant mm -hmm. we'll bury all that and then they'll keep growing up and up and up and that replaces having to hill the soil up around oh and three layer three layer 
<laughs> three levels or layers worth, so. So the whole barrel will be filled up with potatoes by the time it's done. Yeah, baby. Yeah. That out, Blossom. So, oh, we're, we're facing the wrong way, Jackson. We're still facing now the wrong. Right yeah, now we can do that. So that's <laughs> potatoes in a barrel, and uh, oh, we, I wanted to show. Sorry. We'll have to do an update when they start growing. So oh, of we'll course. come back and do an update. So those of you who've been following us, yes, Trandon. Trandon says I'm a great supervisor. <laughs> um, showed you before, then we showed you laying the plastic, and now we have our drip line. Header tube. Header tube. Okay, and then these are going to connect into here. Um, and that with these. with these and it's a fun process to put in but those lines go all the way to the very 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 end and then we can control each particular row if we need more water less water you know some some varieties of uh, veggies need a lot some don't need as much so now we you know can control it and then we just hook that up to a hose we have a flow reduction going into a widget on a manifold. Got to check the specs on the girder. <laughs> That's a Tommy boy quote for you folks. Um, anyway, come over here so we don't blind ourselves. Can I just say? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, you can say it. That where the header tube is laying out here on the, used to be grass underneath there. Oh, yes. Last year we had a lot of grass encroachment <laughs> on our rows. It was horrible. And so thank you, thank you, thank you, huge thank you to uh, Leonard and Angie. And Trandon. And Trandon. Who Trandon out supervised. Today, us dig that whole line out. And man, it took a while. It was, it was, it was a half it day. It was grass roots this deep. So it was a project. And thank you, thank you so much for helping us. Yes, that was. <laughs> it was amazing. Now we won't have grass and weeds coming into our rows on this end. Oh. Well, you know, last year was our first full year, and um, and it was a learning year, and I believe we learned a lot. So hopefully, <laughs> yes. we'll learn something every day and Absolutely. every year, but we're going to have less weeds to contend with. So um, tune in tomorrow, 6.30, every night. We're doing this every night. Um, what are we doing tomorrow? What are we doing tomorrow? Do you know? mm. We don't know. We don't know usually until <laughs> about 6.27. <laughs> Um, but we're doing this every night and we call it quarantine coping. I know some areas are lifting the, the, um, stay yeah, the stay at home and this and that and the other. Um, we may call it something different, but we're going to try to do something, uh, every night. Why not? It's, it, we've had a lot of great response and it might be boring, but it's just going to be whatever we're doing. That yeah. day. <laughs> maybe, maybe we should do like a, a real life home. Like, you know, you telling me to take out the laundry or take out the trash and <laughs> which would be boring no it isn't I, when we take our trash out i have to put it in our skidster i have to put it <laughs> in true. that we have kind of a long driveway because the driveway is roughly a quarter mile long yeah. and it's too far for my frail body to don't laugh at that that's <laughs> so cruel so um it's friday i guess yeah so enjoy the rest of your evening and no philosophical stuff, just planting potatoes. Because that's what we do. Because it's Idaho. Because it's Idaho, right? Got to. We should have done that like the first time. I know. No. You guys have a blessed evening, and we'll see you tomorrow night. Bye. Bye.